Well, I'm hopeful that the party will be able to do that. As somebody who you've mentioned, uh, Isani, I run for party leader, withdrew my candidacy, but I bear no ill will towards the United Democratic Party or towards any of the remaining candidates. I had the pleasure of meeting with all of them, sitting with them, hearing their views, uh, engaging with them in terms of policies, platforms, actions that I think would move the country forward and really hearing what their sense of vision and their ideas for, for the party and the country were. So for my part, I will do whatever I can to really ensure that coming out of this the United Democratic Party is united as one party and we can move forward in relation to the general election. And I would hope that all the candidates who are currently in the race would do the same. I think that the spirit of people who are out here supporting the United Democratic Party is that we come out of this with somebody who can we can rally behind, we can uh, somebody that can unify the party, somebody who would do the things that the public expects in terms of doing right by the Belizean people and somebody who can lead us into the general election to victory. What's next for Darrell Bradley on the political front? Well, I think I will always be involved in politics. From a very young age, I was involved in student leadership, uh, church leadership, organization. And so I am interested in politics as a career, if it is even teaching politics or working in law or something like that. So that I will always be a supporter of the development of Belize. I think that I can have a good voice in relation to some of the ideas, especially in the area of reform and transparency and so forth, which have been things that I have spoken about, but I will always continue to be an agitator for the United Democratic Party and continue to be an agitator for certain policies that I think that should be implemented to move the country forward.